Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how canola oil could help improve hair growth. We're going to look at what it is, we're going to look at the science, we're going to look at some of the best ways to use it, then finally, I'm going to show you whether or not we think it's a good thing to add to a hair care routine. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here, and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. So let's get into the video on canola oil. So first, what is canola oil? Canola is actually the name for a cultivar of the rapeseed crop. Rapeseed, which is high in erucic acid, has been used for centuries in both cooking and as a source of fuel. It was discovered, however, that the high levels of erucic acid found within rapeseed made its consumption toxic. As a result of the discovery, Canadian scientists set to work and selectively breed rapeseed plants in order to produce a low erucic acid crop. The result was canola oil, a non-toxic cultivar which is safe for human and animal consumption. Aside from its use as a healthy fat, there are a few scientific studies which also hint at its effectiveness as a treatment for thinning hair and more specifically male pattern baldness. Now, a 2009 research study performed by Lu, Shimizu and Kondo studied the effects of several fatty acids on 5-alpha reductase. 5-alpha reductase is the enzyme responsible for the conversion of testosterone to DHT. Now, for individuals with androgenetic alopecia, DHT can cause hair thinning and loss. This is due not to high levels of DHT, but instead to the sensitivity which those with AGA have inherited. Over time, DHT-sensitive hair follicles will miniaturize. This occurs when the active phase of hair growth, the anagen phase, shortens. Eventually, the phase will become so short that the hair will no longer protrude from the follicle. So, what can be done? Well, a testosterone blocker would seem the likely option. After all, DHT is converted by 5-alpha reductase from testosterone. This, however, would lead to a whole plethora of other problems, including sexual dysfunction. A better method, it seems, would be to inhibit the enzyme 5-alpha reductase from doing its job. That is, stop it from converting testosterone into DHT. Now, in the above mentioned study, scientists were able to do just that with the help of several fatty acids, two of which were aleic acid and alpha linoleic acid. One way in which researchers tested this theory was to determine the effect that aleic acid and alpha linoleic acid had on prostate cancer cells. Why? Well, in previous years, testosterone was thought to be the culprit which enabled cancer cells to rapidly increase in number within the prostate gland. However, a 1986 scientific study shows that DHT, not testosterone, is the true enabler of cancer cell proliferation. In conclusion, researchers found that both aleic acid and alpha linoleic acid were useful in inhibiting the conversion of testosterone to DHT. What does this mean for those looking to use canola oil as a hair treatment? Canola oil is high in aleic acid, with levels greater than 60%. Alpha linoleic acid can also be found in canola oil, though to a lesser extent. This means that both fatty acids being inhibitors of DHT, canola oil can be an effective way to remove DHT buildup from your scalp and prevent DHT from occurring. Now, canola oil is also rich in two vital nutrients, vitamins E and K. More specifically, canola oil is rich in a particular type of vitamin E known as a togotrineal In 2010, researchers in Malaysia recruited the help of 38 male and female volunteers. Ranging in age from 18 to 60, these individuals suffered from some degree of hair loss or another. The goal of the study was to determine what effect, if any, tocotrienols uh, have on hair growth. Now, the volunteers were split into two groups. The first group consisted of 21 volunteers who received tocotrienol supplementation. The supplement consisted of uh, various concentrations of tocotrienol that you can see on the screen now. The supplement was taken twice daily for 32 weeks in the form of a gel capsule. The second group of volunteers, 17 altogether, were given a placebo capsule. This capsule was 100% soybean oil, and they were instructed to take this capsule similarly to the tocotrineal supplement group. The researchers chose two parameters to study the effectiveness of the tocotrineal supplementation. Prior to the start of the study, as well as four months and eight months, uh, two parameters, hair count and hair weight, were measured. Now, what were the results? Well. Uh, by the end of the 32-week study, the effectiveness of the tocotrineal supplementation was certainly clear. From the beginning of the study to the end, volunteers in the tocotrineal group on average saw an increase in hair count over the placebo group by 34.5%. Now, 
Now, head count results in the Tocotronil supplementation group and a placebo group were taken at baseline 4 months and 8 months. Unfortunately, there was no significant difference in of measured hair weight between volunteers in the two groups. Now, of course, aside from results, researchers are also looking to answer the question, why? While further studies would be helpful, preliminary findings seem to point that the potent antioxidant activity of tocotrienols could play a role. Now, we've talked previously about free radicals on the channel, and that's because oxidative stress has been linked to alopecia in previous scientific studies. Oxidative stress occurs when the, there is abundance of free radicals within the body. Free radicals are responsible for the breaking down of various vital molecules, leading to cell damage and signs of premature aging. Lipid peroxidation is the mechanism which is linked to oxidative stress because as lipids break down, free radicals are able to steal molecules from the lipids. Researchers believe that the antioxidant properties of tocotrienol inhibit the production of the reactive oxygen species or ROS. This slows the breakdown of lipids and protects the lipid molecules from scavenging free radicals. So how do you go about adding canola oil into your hair care routine? When it comes to canola oil and its benefits, there are two main ways that you can go about enjoying them. First, you can apply canola oil directly to the scalp. This no fuss method is great for individuals looking for a quick and easy hair growth solution. And second, you can substitute canola oil into your diet. Now, if you want to apply it directly to your scalp, uh, all you'll need is canola oil and a small bit of time. Now, first you want to apply the canola oil to your palm, rub the oil between your hands and then massage it onto your scalp. Be sure to distribute the oil evenly across the scalp, adding more oil if necessary. Or if you're feeling adventurous, pour directly onto your hairline and then massage it in. Now, to increase the benefits, massage in a circular motion for 5 minutes. This will improve blood circulation and increase the chances of oil absorption. You can leave the oil on overnight or rinse with lukewarm water after 30 minutes. What about adding it into your diet? Now, as the study on a tocotrienol and its positive results for those looking to regrow their hair shown, the addition of canola oil to your diet can be an excellent way to aid in stimulation of hair growth. One of the great things about canola oil is its versatility in the kitchen. You can easily substitute canola oil for its other oils or fats in your cooking and its mild taste is perfect in already flavorful dishes. What about side effects of using canola oil? As a monounsaturated fat, canola oil is widely beneficial and a recommended source of fat. As an essential part of your diet, calories from fat should make up about 35% of your daily caloric intake. Allergies to canola oil are rare, though if signs of an allergic reaction occur, stop supplementation immediately. All in all, canola oil is a safe supplement for healthy individuals. If you have any questions or concerns surrounding fat intake, then consult with your primary care physician. Now, Will, the founder of HairGuard, says he does not use canola oil in his own hair. He says that there are more beneficial oils available. However, if it was the only one available, he would use it topically. But, in his opinion, there isn't strong enough evidence to take it as a supplement. Now, instead, we recommend something like pumpkin seed oil, which has been proven medically to stimulate significant hair growth in humans. Will likes to add pumpkin seed oil to his morning smoothie every single day because of this. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today. On canola oil if you have any questions or if you've actually used canola oil and it was effective let us know in the comments below make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks